So, uh, so Master Chloe, I don't want to, uh, I see you're in a restful state here. I don't want to disturb you or anything like that. <laughs> but back to this, this taxi thing is still fascinating to me. Yeah. Uh, I was, we were talking, you know, off camera, as I said. Yeah. Um, and I was saying that, you know, one of the, one of the candidates that's uh, running for president of the United States, yeah. his name is Andrew uh, Yang. And he warns, he talks about the robotics and how uh, one of the biggest uh, trucking industry, excuse me, one of the biggest industries in the, in the well, the biggest, is, well, one of the biggest is the, uh, what do you call it? The truck drivers. <laughs> the truck drivers, yes. Mm -hmm. And you can look at them like the taxi industry. Yeah. Because there's no industry. whatever. But he's saying that the truck drivers, what they can do if this thing comes to a head, is there's a lot of independent truck driver owners. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can tie up the whole uh, the transportation system. They can park their, their trailers or whatever have you, just stop everything cold. So it has, something has to be done because they are going to react against their jobs being taken away. Mm -hmm. Now, but I'm equating this with the taxi industry because it's the same kind of thing. The same kind of thing. Yeah, there's some big industry, whatever, but they're all independent, you know, whatever yeah. it is. But what were you saying about that? What I was saying is this, the taxi, if you can check the most, the, the 99.99% of taxi industry is owned by black people. And then even the, the drivers are black people, young and old. Whatever that can happen, they are able to pull anything off. Because you see, they are the most people who are generating, they are, they are giving jobs also to, 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 to people. Because the government, they can they can break on the TV. They are giving young people opportunities, but they are not. But the, the taxi industry, they are the ones who are giving the the, 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 the black communities jobs. They are generating money from from these mm -hmm. the, the, these taxes. Mm -hmm. You see, so they are the only they are they are the also the ones who can change what is happening mm -hmm. because they can tell the government we are the ones. Who are giving the the, the the job opportunities to the young people? We are the ones who are who are transporting the the, the locals. We are the ones who are because they are businesses in Kings. If those taxi this taxi industry can stop sending those people to to the towns, mm -hmm. nothing can happen. You see, so they they are so they are so powerful like that because. Like they are doing a lot of stuff, brother Anthony. But while people they said, okay, these guys are rude, these guys, but fine, any place have its negative stuff. But they are they are most helping. They are most helping guys. This is really interesting. But another uh, a little aspect yeah. to this, I just want to say, there's this thing we call framing. Everything is framed around something today, and the news media is good yeah. as framing things. That people they send that frame out, and yeah. people believe that frame. That frame. Now you just tell me that the 99 whatever percent of tech is black. Yep. And when you think of black, you know we're talking about black, yeah. what we call Native Africans Native or whatever Africans. you want to call us. Um, but Yet and still, if you look at like, the stuff that goes out, you would think the taxi industry has a lot of colored people in it because a lot of stuff comes from Cape Town, is, Cape or Town, yeah. is basically like that. I, I prefer to say downtrodden, but I, I'm yeah. not going to say you think. So the downtrodden are the ones that deal with these taxi industries. But the, the framing is that you might think there's a lot that, that maybe the colored people mm. run the taxi industry because you get stuff from Cape Town, yeah. or when you get these exotic things that go out about South Africa, yeah. they always show a, a you know a, 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 a colored side. guy, you know, a gotcha guy saying, you know, you know, you know. Weinberg, Weinberg, whatever they're you know, yelling, you know, <laughs> get down, whatever they're, they're yelling, they yeah. get, when the people are putting in the taxi. But but living in the Eastern Cape, they ain't no, no, this is like, like all, bl and most of the country is like black. So most yeah. of the taxi associates are going to be black, but black. you don't see that from the. Even Jobber, even Jobber. Because you see, at this side, uh, at this side, you, you remember they, they, they are people who are calling conductors. They call what? Conductors. Conductors, yeah, People yeah, yeah. who are collecting the money. Yeah, yeah, the conductors. But we, we are we no longer having them here in, in Timbaza, but the P, P side, yeah, yeah, P and, and yeah, upwards and other places, they still have conductors. You see, that's the part of the job. Yeah. Because people who is collecting money on the, maybe they getting paid a day or getting paid a week. Yeah. You see? That's the kind of, of, of jobs that people are, are getting. Mm. And then those people are not registered. Because, you see, they don't even need labor. Even labor is, is trying to to get through to the taxi industry. There is no use of that. Mm. There is no use of because 
They seem that. When you say labor, you mean the labor, labor you, you, unions? The, the, no, labor, the government, the government. Oh, okay. You know, the, the, the government. Department of Labor, yeah. Yeah, you see, they want to know how much the people are getting paid. No, they don't. They no, no, they must not get involved with that. Because mm -hmm. that's that's the that's the way the the the, the 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 black community is living. Because if you put those, and then people they, people they will stop fading away from from getting those jobs because they'll say, oh, we are not able to pay these people this kind of money. Mm -hmm. And then you see that that person lost that lose the job. Mm -hmm. The way things are going, they must let things flow the way they are. They must stay away from this because the, if the if the system infl infiltrated its laws and restrictions, everything just dies. Mm. Because you remember the the, the factories in Timbaza, mm. it it was like it was a small Josie. You you know Jobek. Yeah, yeah. Timbaza was small Josie. Mm -hmm. After the politics get get on board, and the the, the SARS get on board, the Chinese flow away. And then those people they ending up suffering, mm -hmm. and people they don't understand what is happening. Let's go to the economic side. As economics, if the the, the country GDP, the country's GDP is generated from from that certain part of the of of, of the place, mm -hmm. we can say Eastern Cape was the was the was the major 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 resource of GDP mm -hmm. to, to to South Africa. It was generating. So so much, so much money from the from the industrials. It doesn't matter how much people they were getting paid, but th the currency of the country was depending on them. Was depending on the factories, because yeah. if you can look, if you can look, the time factories were closed. Look at the at the, at the currency of the South African. The, uh, it, it, it it dies, brother Anthony. Let let's face the truth. Down, After the the, the 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 factories were were closed. After they they tax those industrial those Chinese or Indonesian or, or whatever guys who are owning the factories, the country's currency fallen down. They mustn't lie and talk about taxes. They were having the hidden agendas because the politics the politics are the main cause of everything that is happening. Mm. Because they are benefiting from whatever that because you see. The, the, the system is trying to destroy the country. They want to take over whatever that is happening. Because the time we were having no much policies from the, from, from the government, everything was, was smooth and fine. After they, they take over, they tax those guys, they want everything to, to, to be, be, they want to control. They want to be in control, they want to take care of the administration. Everything fails because they know nothing about the administration. Well, that's because I think the model they used was the colonial model. Yep. And, and, and that, that's a whole other different model. But I will give you a, a couple, of, well, mm -hmm. uh, at least one uh, yeah. model. Just say, uh, you may know this, the schools. The schools used to grow their own vegetables and everything exactly. like that. Then when the government came in and said, oh, no, we're going to so we're gonna get tenders or whatever tenders. have you. Now the community, those kids no longer know how to grow vegetables. Exactly. They, they used to take the excess vegetable and mm -hmm. sell it to get a little bit more money for the school. Everybody was fed or whatever have you. Exactly. With the government taking over, and the quality of the food, everything mm -hmm. is, is amazingly just gone down. That is an example. But you have a bigger problem in Dumbaza mm -hmm. because now with the factories going to open back up. But the factories, the, I guess the government, whoever talked to whoever, and now the, the, I guess the Germans, the Chinese, whatever coming back in to be taxed again yeah, exactly. but you still know it, it, it's it's the, it's the same thing as bef before when it first went down you see not before it went down exactly because you see mm. there was a guy the, the, the most strategic guy who, who was in in place LL said what's his name LL said L L said S E B E, e. yeah Mm -hmm. You see, you, you remember the, the, the monument place called Intabagandota? Okay. He was the one who initiated that. He, he, he was the one also who bring investors to Timbaza. Who, he is the one who, who set up all that infrastructure in Timbaza. Who set the infrastructure. You see the, this school here? Mm -hmm. There was a technical school almost there. Mm -hmm. Here he, the, when you hear in Alice. Yeah, over, yeah, yeah. He, he was the one who, set, like most of the stuff, the infrastructure that was built, it's him. Mm. Even his mentality, he was like, he got that human mentality. He doesn't have this, this colonial mentality of thinking of the money. He was not thinking of, the, he was thinking of the development. Mm -hmm. The people who are in power now, they are not developmental. 
what they think about how I can get money, how to get money. You see, they don't think how to develop the country. That's why we are in this mess. So if ever the taxi industry can take over, at least we can, we, 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 we can have a change. Can but here, change. that's my whole problem. To any takeover, the, the, you just said it. Okay, let me just do that with Sebi. Yeah. His name is Sebi. Say his name Sebe. again. L.L. Sebi. L.L. Sebi. Got to look him up. Yeah. Um, I, I've heard, no, I've heard about him before. Yeah. No, I've heard about him before. You're right, I've heard about him before. But unless you have Sebi mentality. Yeah. Unless you have Mengele Suraba Subukwe mentality. mentality. Yeah. Unless you have yeah. Chris Hani mentality. mentality. You you fall into the 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 the, uh, you know, the you fall into the Madiba mentality. You fall into in, in, into the Jacob Zuma mentality. mentality. You know, yeah. which that mentality doesn't serve you as well as the Sebe, the Sebe. mentality. Yeah. The Mangalese so Robert Sabukwe mentality. The Chris Hani because all it sounds like the Sebe so Sabukwe yeah. Hani are they all are coming, the, the, coming from the same breed. Which is breed. which is a principal breed. Principal breed. They have principles and and, and, and you said because Mangalese Robert Sabukwe said it best. He said Africa is about humanity. Yeah. So unless these folks get humanity in their thing, yeah, they'll forever be. <laughs> Preying on the people they're supposed to be, you know, yeah. serving. Wow. They are not principled. You see, the, the, our leaders are not principled. They are not principled because I can see what is happening in this, in, in just in this decade. You remember? Let's go to tax. Let's go back to tax. Last time there were factories, it was fourteen percent. Like since I was born, tax it was fourteen percent. The thing that like I, I was doing in accounting. The thing that amazed me, like, whoa, there's a problem coming. The, the day they say tax in South Africa is rising by 1%, mm -hmm. oh, I was scared of that. Oh, I don't need the president. I don't need this president. I said it right away. Well, wait, wait, hold on. The foot, okay, the, tax, yeah. the, the overall tax, I'm just number. Yeah. It used to be 14%. 14%. But wait, this 15%, that just happened this year. This, this you, you know, see, the last, the, within the last year. In last year. Yeah, yeah. Last year. It and affected so everyone. For so many years. You, you, you see, Brother Anthony, you know, like, it's like this. These people, they don't think. Because, you see, they, they, there's this thing on, 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 on accounting. If there's inflation, if there's inflation, inflation affects everything. Mm -hmm. Everything's price just go up. You see, there was no inflation in South Africa. The, the, the thing that affects everything here is that tax, that tax, that one person, they say it's one person, but it's not one person. Because if you can go through the stuff that are rising up, the time the tax that is rising up, they're supposed to make an increase on everything. When we say everything, it's wages, salaries, especially, you see, especially on food and transport, because you see, the, the, the petrol is supposed to rise up because the tax has been increased. So those, those, those corporates are benefiting from that. And then you, you, we can look at our, our, our president. Our, pre our president owns companies. You see? And Talk about Sir Ramaphosa. Yeah, it, oh, he owns companies. He doesn't care about downtrodden people. Whatever he can say on TV, it doesn't matter. What matters is what he's supposed to think of. He's supposed to think of those people who got nothing. He's supposed to have a say because he, he, he did with the management thing and all that stuff. He's supposed to think. Well, well was to, oh. be, to be fair or unfair, however yeah. you want to say it, yeah. he doesn't come from that world. He hasn't been exactly. in that world in a very, very, yeah, exactly. very long time. Come on now, since for at least 25, 25 years, years, since since Gadessa won. Yeah. He hasn't been in that world. What does he know? Uh, I keep on telling this story. I, I, I went to a book, I, I bought a book, I don't think I have it here, but I bought a book one time about this guy that weighs some, from, some, some, something from, from Robin Island to Wall Street or something like that. Some some big guy would spend time in the States, whatever it is. And I asked and the book sign I asked him a question because he, there was an incident that happened in New York City and they went into the Queensbridge project which was a very rough project to try to get this bike back and then they thought 
differently. So other reading that passion the book, I asked him a question about now here in South Africa, what's it like now to, to, to deal? He basically says that his people of his caliber, his ilk, whatever it is, they they are afraid of the townships. They live in the gated communities. Exactly. They don't want to go. They don't want to deal with that. They, so the basic one trying to say they've been 20, 30 years removed. The people that's running the country have been 20, 30 years removed from their humble beginnings. So they're not thinking. They, there's, there's 30 years of, 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 of brainwashing or not thinking like the downtrodden that you come from. Exactly. So if you spend 20 years in down, with downtrodden and 30 years or 40 years in the, in, in the well-to-do, are you thinking like downtrodden? Are you thinking about well-to-do? Especially if well-to-do is the last thing that you... Wow. It's like that. Because, even if, because if you can compare the, the Uber people, you compare with the taxi people, Uber, yeah. The, yeah, the taxi people are living in with locals. Mm. Most of the Uber people, they don't live with locals. Because maybe they come from wherever they come from. They just get a job. Some of the, 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 the people who are owning the companies, they don't come from the locals. Mm. They just come to do money and go. But the, 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 the taxi people, they stay inside with, with the locals. I, I didn't hear any taxi. Did you hear, hear any taxi owner who's living in town? While he has, he's having his own taxes mm. in, in location, mm. there is none. Mm. So just like we can't be, we can't be controlled or be leaded by a person who's living, who's living in, in Dubai or mm. in in the high places. While you say you want to serve the communities, you can't mm. you can't serve the, the the township while you are living in the suburbs. Mm. Two different worlds. Yeah. Because even our president was in Timbaz almost last last week. Mm -hmm. Whatever he hears about Timbaz is not true. Even the the information that he get about Timbaz, he's supposed to go and spend time there with those people, and they must stop this thing of themselves when they go to the communities. They become scared. How you can lead people that you are scared of? Mm. You bring bodyguards. You bring all that stuff like you, you are dealing with criminals. Those mm. are your own people. Mm. This is like, this thing is it's going way too far, brother. But uh, is there some sort of help? Because I, you was telling me about your counselor yeah. spends time wow. in the villages now. Exactly. What's happening? What she lives? You know, she lives in the village. She lives in the village. <laughs> you see, it's good. Like, she's the best counselor ever that I, I, I see on the moments. She is living in the, in the villages now. She's living in the, uh, when you are go, going to King, there's this small place there called Rhythm City. Mm -hmm. She's one of the houses there. Now, it's interesting. I, I, I didn't want to make this too long, but let me just keep it. I don't care. I don't care. I have to say something. Because you, uh, you, you're you sitting in our house, <laughs> our RDP house. People don't yeah. know what that means. What does RDP mean anyway? It's, uh, uh, what? RDP? Uh, but, baby, what does RDP mean? Res I don't know. I, do. I, I don't know. Hey, it's, 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 it's just a basic house, whatever it is. It's, it's, it, and it got some infrastructure yeah. for water and whatever have you that, you that you hook up. But we basically live, we live in a location. Yeah, my wife. Now, because I'm older and because I'm American, everybody thinks I got money. I don't have money. But they, they wonder, and because I'm doing research, they go, well, why am I doing here? I should not be living like an older person in a house where they have a car, whatever have you. But I have get so much insight. Mm. My, my, my mind is totally different. That other people, yes. that other, even other students or even other uh, uh, lecturers Lecture. at the university, because I live in the location, and they all ask me the same thing: oh, How is it there? Is it a crime? They, they, it's weird. It's, it's unbelievable to me. Because their 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 brain is full of media. Full of media. Mm. Because they don't face reality. If you face reality, you go to the places that they say there is a danger. Go and face danger and see if they, you will see danger or what. Because media is lying. They yeah, are just pushing their propaganda. Yeah, but sometimes they don't allow you to do that. I mean, when I first came to South Africa in 2003, <laughs> but because I did this workshop at Bush Radio, right? And the first thing I'm going to ask them, you know, because I come from this, this kind of world, I said, well, yeah, I, I want to go to the to visit, the, I want to go hang out with the gangsters. No, 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 you can't do that. No, no, they, I don't know. I just want to get, no, it was weird, man. I said, okay, I had to, I had to acquiesce. Yeah, paranoid. <laughs> I had to acquiesce because that's my normal thing. I go and hang out with them. when I when I used to do workshops all over the world. They would try to put me put me in a hotel. No, I go. I say no. You have to put me with a family in the community. I'm not. You know, da 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 da. I understand what it was just strange to me. It was just very very strange to me. I guess this is repeated all over the world. But what what 
I guess what is this hierarchy that, that we embrace? I don't. I don't. The, the, the thing is, the thing is, we, we, we people are embracing whiteness. Whiteness, because African is like, I can go and live wherever I live. Because just like uh, when last year, you remember last year I was in in Transkei. Mm -hmm. There, people they were treating me like family because, like, they are pure, pure. African people living in bundus, they call bundus in, in villages, real villages, not these villages like here. Real villages, people are eating from the, the, the raw maize, they're taking maize, they make the maize meal, they, like people like that. We live there, we live like a family. Mm. I, the way they accepted me because I, I'm that, I'm, I'm an open person, if I, 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 I get to a place. I talk with everybody. Mm. I become open. I become like, like entertaining. All that stuff. People were they were liking me everywhere. Wherever I go, there I was talking with people. So that that's how Africans they supposed to do. Africa, Africa, it's it's something else, brother Anthony. It's something mm. else. Mm. So these people who are up there, whatever they see on TV, they think is real. Mm. You just go to those. We must go to those places and make sure we we we, we know the experience of those people. Even me, I'm not better than anybody. I'm like a normal person. Because the people they will see me on the road, they will think like, oh, maybe he has this, or maybe he can do. It. No, I I learn stuff from the others. Mm. I communicate with people. I go and spend time with the guys who are smoking, while I'm not smoking. Mm. I stay with people who are drinking while I'm not drinking. Mm. Because we are all humans, mm. we all have the the downfall and the upfall. So we need each other, mm. all the way around. We need each other. Thanks so much, yeah. Maskole. Okay, Morandi. Well